Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a kind of different type of video than my normal content. The first half of this video is going to be a Sephora haul and the second half of this video is going to be a skincare routine. So if you're interested in beauty and skincare content then stay tuned. Hi, my name is Kaya and I am the owner of Kaya Cosmic Co and this channel is dedicated all to things lifestyle, Disney, travel, work from home, delivered every Sunday. So be sure to like, subscribe, comment on this video and be sure to hit that notification bell so that you are notified for whenever I post a new video. So I am really excited to record this video. This is the type of video that I have always wanted to make but have never made because I've never considered myself an influencer or a beauty guru but uh, if being in the online space has taught me anything it's to just do whatever the hell you want. And so today I'm going to be going over what I got at Sephora today. My wife took me shopping and we went to Sephora and I got a bunch of goodies. And then I'm going to actually be using those products that I actually purchased today in my skincare routine. So I'm going to bring you guys along with me into my bathroom and we're going to do my skincare together. One of my 2022 goals that I set for myself was to clear up my skin and to feel really confident in the skin that I'm in. If you can tell, I'm wearing makeup right now, but um, underneath my skin I definitely have a little bit of discoloration and dark marks that I've noticed have come about uh, through the COVID pandemic. When I was a former preschool teacher, I was wearing masks for upwards of eight, nine hours a day, and I started to really break out on my jawline. So this year I really wanted to pay super close attention to my skincare routine really and devote time to it to clear up my skin and since I've you know made these intentional actions and devoted and time and invested energy into my skincare routine I've definitely noticed a difference so um, without further ado let's hop into this Sephora haul so I am so excited I love Sephora and um, usually when I go to Sephora I get makeup but this time was all about skincare uh, correction I did get uh, one thing about makeup but the rest of everything else is skincare and I am not a gatekeeper on how much everything costs so I will tell uh, I will share the breakdown of what everything costs with you all this uh, particular purchase was $82.39 and I will break everything down um, product by product, how much it costs. I will say that we did have a gift card um, to uh, cover a lot of this. So just being totally transparent. But first thing that I pulled out of the bag here that I have is a new eyebrow pencil. I've been using, I've been using, a, to be honest, a uh, eyeliner pencil for my eyebrows because for some reason I cannot find my eyebrow pencil. Um, so I wanted to finally, you know, get a eyebrow pencil. This was, this is literally just Sephora brand. It was in the little middle kiosk where everything was on sale. This was $6. The color is soft charcoal. Oh, should I do the thing where I hold it up in front of my, my hand like this? Here it is. I'm gonna do it because that's what everybody does when they show off makeup. Next thing I'll pull out and I'll show you guys is some a product that I've already been using. Ole Henriksen is the skincare brand that I've been using on my face uh, religiously. I've used a variety of their products and so far I'm very pleased with the way that they've been working. So this product I already have and I have been keeping it in my, I have a little mini fridge on my counter that I can show you guys when we jump into the vlog portion of this. Uh, but this is the Truth Juice, Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. This is made of orange fruit water and B PHA. So this is a facial cleanser and I actually have been using this at night. Um, the one, I will show you the um, brand. I use another Ole Henriksen collection brand uh, for when I wash my face in the morning. 
um, and it's green, but this has uh, orange fruit and it smells really, really good. And I also got this in the mini size that was in the mini kiosks that you will find, you know, either up front when you're, this was a, a Sephora in a JCPenney, so it was in the mall or wasn't in a mall. So um, sometimes, you know, when you go to Sephora and they have like those mini sizes, you can find these there. And this was $12. Next, this is a new, uh, this is again, Ole Henriksen brand, but this is a new um, product for me that I wanted to try. This is the one um, line that I did not have any products out of. I do have a blue um, transform product of the toner of Ole Henriksen. But this is the Lemonade Smoothing Scrub. Um, I'll take it out of the box. This is the Lemonade Smoothing Scrub. The girl that I was checking out with said she loved this, so I'm really excited to try it. Um, so this is only supposed to be used two to three times a week, so this definitely won't be an every night cleanser. Um, like whereas this this will be an overnight or every night cleanser. So yeah, this is like an exfoliator. So probably what I do since I am wearing makeup, I don't wear makeup every day. Um, I hardly ever wear makeup, but I had uh, a Zoom call this morning or this afternoon that required me to put on makeup and be presentable. So um, I will be to, wanting to do an exfoliating scrub to make sure I really get all the dirt out of my face, um, especially since I am wearing makeup. So I'm excited to try this lemonade smoothing scrub. All right, next thing I got was uh, is not Ole Henriksen. This is actually a new brand for me. I'm excited to try it. I am not exactly sure how to pronounce it. Uh, Laneige. And this is a day and night kit. Uh, it is a two, two product um, package deal. I also got this in the little mini area. Um, so there's two things in here. There's the water bank moisture cream, which looks like it's this one. So we've got the moisture cream here, the water, water bank moisture cream. Very nice. And we also have water sleeping mask. So these I saw, I just was reading through all the products and I thought this one looked kind of interesting. The moisture cream is to be spread from center of the face outward after essence. I have a night cream that I have been putting on but I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, I just don't really like the way it smells so I'm excited to transition over to this. And this sleeping mask is an overnight brightening mask that supplies intense hydration with hydroionized mineral water while calming sleep scent helps you unwind. Redefine beauty sleep and wake up to glowing skin. So yeah, that, I mean, that sold me. I, you know, I really want to make sure that my skin, my hardest part of my skincare routine has been incorporating at night because I have always just been the one to, one to fall asleep and not wash my face. So, you know, getting nice products like these um, to incorporate in my skincare routine um, have been helping me. The last thing I got was, this is a new brand for me. This is a rare, be rare beauty brand, always an optimist, four in one mist. Um, I just thought this would be great to incorporate into my skincare um, once I get out of the shower. I cleanse in the shower and then I get out and put a you know serum and a uh, vitamin C moisturizer under my face so I, but I figured this would be nice to just you know finish off and um, fin finish off my skincare routine with. so this is a a glowing boosting mist that hydrates primes sets and refreshes skin okay this is really pretty it's always an optimist four in one mist so you just shake this maybe I, maybe I will use this I don't know I might, I might spray this on before I, before I go to bed. So yeah, that's everything that I got on my little shopping spree. Like I said, I don't, I usually don't spend a whole lot on makeup. Um, I'm a lot more into the skincare portion of, you know, cosmetics. So um, yeah, all of that I got for $82.39. Alrighty, so I'm going to uh, transition here. We're actually going to go into my bathroom and I'm going to do my skincare routine with you guys. So let's go. Hey, here we are. Welcome to my bathroom. We are going to be doing my skincare routine. 
as you can tell i am wearing makeup i have a whole face of makeup on i've got foundation mascara eyeshadow highlight and i've got my brows done so i need to wash my face and do my nightly skincare here is um that mini fridge that i wanted to show you guys i got this for 30 dollars at tj maxx home goods and this is the perfect little size mini fridge it has a little shelf and i keep all of my little goodies i have a couple rollers i have this i can't remember the name of this but this is uh i'll also be using it tonight i'll i'll put a i'll put the name of it in the uh, this is rose quartz and i have a rose quartz cord rose quartz roller and a jade roller and then all the rest of my skincare items i love this little mini fridge it keeps everything nice and cool and it just makes it feel like a facial so without further ado let's get into the skincare routine Okay, so I just completely cleansed my face using the um, Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. And now I'm gonna go in with this Lemonade Soothing Scrub. I'm gonna reiterate, I'm not gonna use this every day. Um, I'll probably just use this on like Fridays and Mondays, like kind of like an end of the week, beginning of the week exfoliating scrubs. So um, I'm gonna go in with this next. This is the old Henriksen daily cleanser that I use during the daytime when I'm showering. This is the Find Your Balance oil control cleanser and this really helps keep my face um, from not getting oily. I live in Florida, there's, I, you know, there's a lot of heat, it's hot, it's humid, um, so this really is a great uh, oil control. And this has green fusion complex, neem seed oil, and AHAs. This is what I use during the daytime. So I can definitely see why this says to only use two or three times a week. It definitely has that grainy salt feeling um, scrub. This is definitely a scrub, so you don't want to exfoliate too often. Um, but I haven't done a good exfoliating treatment in um, probably a week or so. I'd say last time I exfoliated my face, so um, it's really good to just get all that dead skin off, especially after you've been wearing makeup. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a habitual makeup wear but when I do wear makeup I make sure to cleanse my face really well and scrub my face really well so I'm gonna leave this on for about two minutes and um, then I'll rinse this off next I'm gonna go in with the Ole Henriksen transform line this is the glow OH dark spot toner kind of like I said I have some dark spots here on my cheeks so um, they've actually lightened up a lot since I started using this. I've been using this for um, about, you know, about two months. Uh, that's about the time that it takes for you to tell if skincare is um, actually working for you. So um, I just apply a little bit of this to a cotton ball and um, it's just a tone. Next, I'm going to be going in with the Ole Henriksen Transform line. This is the Dewtopia, Dewtopia Acid Night Treatment. This is just a tiny little bit of serum that goes on at night. Just a little dab right like that. And this is an acid, so it does burn a little bit, but it feels like it stings a little bit. And 
And that is it for my skincare routine. Thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video. And if you enjoyed this content, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment on this video letting me know that you enjoyed this so that I know what type of content to keep making. This was totally out of my element, but it's been something I've always wanted to share with others. So again, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video. Bye!